Yeah, so as you can see here, this is the work that we did. You can see truly that this is a white wood. This is a white wood. Uh, so that's that. We Hello, use. viewers. You are welcome back to Smart Agro Innovation. This is Smart Agro Platform, a platform that teaches much about agriculture. My name is Antonio Beidou from Ghana, West Africa. Um, day in and day out, there have been uploads on our channel, but most of our videos are being centered on plantain stroke, banana saka multiplication research. Whichever thing we do, we try as much as possible to share with our subscribers to also see what goes around when it comes to plantain and bananas multiplication. Actually, we are also into vegetative propagation. If you take cassava, a lot of stuff, snail, vegetable production, organic farming, rats, pangolins, and so on and so forth. Um, to begin, today we are going to put our discussion on a paramount thing that we have seen, a research that we've conducted, and the results that has shown. And it is going to be centered on substrate. If you say substrate, we are talking about the medium through which the multiplication is done. You know, if you are doing plantain or banana sucker multiplication, what we use is a soilless media. And that soilless media is called sawdust inside the sawdust there are lots or many types of sawdust available and for the purpose of our work i don't think that if you go to um, a sawmill which type of uh, sawdust is even appropriate for the work many a times we've been trying to do a lot of things sometimes you go for redwood there's a different result you go for the white wood, and there's also a different result. We did this comparison some time ago, and in fact, the result has shown that indeed, if you compare, or if you are to do plantain and banana cycle multiplication, I tell you, the red wood sawdust, it is not appropriate, and we have to refrain from using uh, red wood for our uh, redwood sawdust for our multiplications because they have detrimental impact. I've already done a video on that some time ago and truly, surely, we have also seen that um, the redwood sawdust is not good for our plantain and banana saka multiplication. We did the assessment, we have the, the, the white wood and then the redwood, then we did the multiplication. We shall soon show you the result that came up. After this conversation, we we'll move directly to the place and then we we'll show you some of the results that we had. So without wasting much time, I want us to go and look at how the redwood sawdust is doing with our cuttings and then the white wood sawdust, especially in our local um Ghana here, we call it, we have Mahogany, we have um, <coughs> Wawa, Udum and Co, Unina and all those things. The Wawa or the Unina, they are the white wood type, but the Mahoganys, the uh, Udum and so on and so forth, those are red woods. And when it comes to plantain and banana circus multiplication, if you go to a sawmill, please don't use those red wood because we have finally concluded on such research that indeed um, the red wood does not give more sprouting. The white wood will give you more sprouting because if you look at the texture, let's go and watch how the whole thing went. And after that, we explain the truth. The reason why the white wood is able to give us excellent results and germinations than the red wood sawdust. Let's go to the site. Yeah, so as you can see here, this is the work that we did. You can see truly that this is a white wood. This is a white wood uh, sawdust that we used. White wood. And after the whole thing, we had this result. 
you can really see that you can see the difference this is the white wood sawdust and this is the white wood and this is the red wood sawdust you can see this is purely red wood purely red wood uh -huh. so you can see the difference yourself i want you to judge it we have the red wood sawdust and this is the performance this is how germination is and if you compare to this this is also a white wood and that is the result it is real <laughs> i don't want to even comment look at the total number of seedlings that we have here look at the total number of plantain or banana seedlings that we have here a lot of them a lot they are all crowded a lot some are still germinating but if you compare it to the red wood, you can see that, yes, germination took place all right, 100%. But there's a difference. There's a difference. Germination has taken place though, but if you value or if you compare the germination percentage, you can see that this one has given about 95% germination. Yeah. If I'm to read it, you can see that the white wood sawdust has given us 95% germination for now. And still, germination is taking place. But if you look at this, you can see that there are lapses in there. Meaning that, if you want to do plantain or banana sucker multiplication, the best sawdust to use is the white wood sawdust. So if you move into a sawmill, where there are, you get opportunity to lay your hands on white wood sawdust, then say hallelujah because that is where you have a lot of seedlings at the end of the day. But if you go there and there is a red wood, you can see that indeed um, it will affect your germination. It will really affect your germination. There is one observation that uh, I have made. Some may ask, why that? Why is it that this one has given? more sprout and more germination than the red wood it is so because if you look at the red wood if you take if you look at the texture of the red wood the white wood sawdust has a very fine texture it is the particles forming the white wood they are loose they are not closely packed they have fine texture but if you compare to the red wood, they are hard by nature. And it takes time for them to decompose. And the particles are very hard. The particles are compressed. And that resulted in higher um, germination percentage than the red wood. Because since the white wood has a fine texture, it is able to allow the penetration of water when you even do watering the white wood can easily absorb water than the red wood because they are soft and they have very good water holding capacity but the red wood it even if you do watering it takes a long time before it even um the, the the soil the water can even drain yeah and the white wood it makes nutrients easily available to the root of our cuttings hence the higher performance that is how come we had much more germination much more germination here in the white wood sawdust than the red wood also another advantage is that if you look at the <coughs> the White wood sawdust. Sorry, you can see that there are many multiple germinate. There, there are many a lot of uh, uh, multiple germinations. Okay, if you look at this one, it has given that multiple uh, sproutings. Okay, this one. Uh, this is just one cutting. It has given a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just one cutting. Just in the first, gem this is the first uh, parity. This is the first germination, the generation. 
we are going to harvest all this and then I transplant them. We cover again, we add certain protocols and it will still regenerate again. That is one advantage of the white wood soda. One, it allows easy penetration of water. It also makes uh, nutrients available to the root zone of our uh, seedlings. Also, it is able to support faster germination because if once the sun shines, it doesn't take long time for the white wood to, you know, heat up to support germination. These are the advantages. So from now onwards, through our videos, if you are going to do plantation of banana sucker multiplication, it is appropriate to look for white wood sawdust. Okay. So without wasting much time, we can conclude that the white wood sawdust is the best sawdust for sucker multiplication. Thank you very much for watching. This is Smart Agro Innovations Platform once again. My name is Antonio Beidou. And we are in West Africa, Ghana. If you come to Ghana, we are within the Western North region. That is where all these activities are going on. Where we are now is one of our post nurseries. And day in and day out, we try to put ideas out there for our subscribers. Thank you so much for watching us. If today is the first day of watching us, please kindly subscribe to the channel. Share our videos to promote the good work. Our doors are still open for trainings in and outside Ghana, everywhere that you want us to do trainings, we are very available. And our doors are also open for collaborations and job opportunities. Thank you very much and thanks for watching. Now, if you come to Ghana, we are within the western of us, I kept saying, yes, those outside, we thank you, our greetings to you all. And to my people, we thank you for watching us. Keep subscribing and share to my friends. Smart Agro. We are available for you. Thank you.